This is Hako, Costa Rica's most famous party beach town. I took my brother here and he fell in love with it. Something tells me you will too after watching this video. Hako is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches, surfing, and nightlife. And when the sun goes down, this place is filled with some of the most beautiful women you've ever seen. Many of these beautiful women, both locals and foreigners, come from other Latin countries like Colombia, Venezuela, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. And their job is the oldest profession of them all, prostitution. It is legal here in Costa Rica. However, pimping is not. After sunset, if you're just a guy walking by yourself outside or just with a group of buddies, expect to get catcalled and approached by these beautiful young ladies. They can be direct at times though, so get used to it. There's a lot of drugs, a lot of drinking, and lots and lots of girls. Make sure you know that and protect your kids and um, you know, your wives and your husband. Mostly your husband. If you visit some local casinos in town, expect to see hundreds of girls flocking to you the moment you walk through the doors. With anywhere ranging from $50 to $150, you can have someone tuck you in for the night. Not that I would know anything about it though, it's just it's something I read online while doing research for this video. <clears throat> Anyway, the presence of prostitution in Hakka Beach has been a source of controversy and concern for many locals, business owners, and tourists. Some argue that it contributes to the town's economy and provides income for many people. Let me know what you think in the comment below. Personally, I want to show you that Hakka is a great town to visit, only two hours from the international airport from the capital of San Jose. Hakko is known for its black sand beaches and awesome waves to launch your surfing career if you ever dream of one. Fantastic local seafood, incredible oceanside restaurants, and tons of outdoor activities in this little slice of paradise that will surely capture your heart. Let's follow me and my brother and explore this beautiful town, shall we? So I am on my way to Hako Beach right now with my brother, but just on the way, we are stopping here at this beautiful restaurant here. I was here two years ago, and uh, the quality of food was so good, and the location is just incredible. So I had to stop here again. We are here. This is uh, Orange and Paya, right? Okay. Oh, the escabeche is so good. Is hot, sauce? hot sauce. Not escabeche, hot sauce. See? All right, now cheers. We're on our way to Hakko, orange and papaya. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's really windy today. It's a little bit steamy, but it's good. It feels good. Chips and beans. Mm. Simple. Delicious. And we got this seafood fried rice here, guys. Every time we come to Costa Rica, just like my brother said, you gotta get the seafood here. It's incredible. Like, his plate looks very, very good, though. You get whole crab and everything. Here, I get the shrimp. Uh, I see uh, pieces of tuna. I see a whole lot of mussels and a whole lot of clams. Here we go. Oh, hot. Very good. I mean, what I love about this place is right off you know, the, the road to Hako and it's nicely put together, it's very well invested, you know, and it's relatively safe, you know, you know they put a lot of money into it, so hopefully the food is gonna be, um, yeah, sanitary. And I think the best thing after the seafood in this country is the escabeche. I mean, it's so incredibly good. It's vinegary, what did I just say? It, it's vinegary, it uh, has some limon in it, but the vegetables are very, very crunchy, pickled to perfection every time. And I, I always have it with my meal here in Costa Rica every time. Oh, this one is hot. Oh, caliente. A little bit of escabeche, some shrimp, some tuna. There we go. Fantastic. All right, that was lunch. Let's go to Hako party. So on the way to Hako, you're gonna pass by a bridge, and if you stop here, you have a chance to look at hundreds of crocodiles just right down below. Ooh, wow. Yeah, this is all natural. You don't have to pay for it. Everybody's just walking on the, the bridge right here. 
There you go, you see it. People will let you know. All right, I might have exaggerated a little bit. I see three right now, it's just hanging out here. I see like a few, probably five or six. That's the biggest one right here, the one right here. Guys, huge. It's about what, 15 foot long? That's crazy. And you saw how hard it is to spot one of the crocodiles you know, underneath the water. It's just incredible. I mean, just imagine yourself, you know, trying to get some fresh water for, for your village or trying to do your laundry at the riverbank and they just come out of nowhere and snap your neck. Oh, man, it's brutal. Man, all my karate goes out the window at that point. All right, let's keep going. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> my hair is a mess, but I'm just so excited. You know, I had to rush here before it gets dark to show you this beautiful restaurant right on the sand here. It's literally right here on the beach and the name is El Pointe Seafood Restaurant. The Point Seafood Restaurant. I gotta show you this. And literally, you cannot beat the location. It's just so incredibly gorgeous. It's just right there, right behind me. Look at this, my brother just ordered the surf and turf and just look at how big it is. Insane. Insane. Meanwhile, I ordered a uh, seafood spaghetti for myself. You know, I'm not that rich, you know. Rich boy over there. Poor boy over here. Maybe we should switch. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, Chardonnay. Very good, very good. I cannot wait. The seafood is so fresh. Man, I can taste it. Like the seafood taste is really strong. But it's not fishy. It's a fresh seafood taste. So good. The shrimp is punchy. Jesus, my hair is a mess because of the humidity here. Uh, there are two crabs in the pasta, but then they're so small and just so spiky. I don't know how to eat them. But the sauce is just so incredibly good. It, it's amazing. I mean, my brother's steak, surf and turf, which is beyond incredible. It's 35,000 colones. So I would say about 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks dollars. But it's totally worth it. The lobster is kind of small, I can see that. But the meat is huge. It's a whole ribeye tomahawk. Is it good? Wow. Salute. I feel really grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this, to show you um, what I eat, you know, what I go through every day when I travel. It's just such a pleasure and such an honor. My friends and family, you have blessed me in, in so many ways. I am very thankful for you. It's not just you, it's the friends, it's the community that helped you, that built you up. So uh, thank you to all of you. If you guys have a chance, hit me up on Instagram and Facebook. Send me an email. Go travel together. If it's your home country, you send me an invite, I'll try to make it happen. I promise. The next morning, we got to the beach early for our surfing lesson. And my first time was right here on this very same beach exactly a year ago. This time, I'm accompanied by my brother, Tony. And this is his first time going surfing. We started with some warm-ups and basics and headed out to the water. Manny is in charge of my brother and this little puppy is in charge of me. I think I lucked out this time. We failed to catch the waves many times and even when we did, it didn't take long for us to fall off the boards. The beach is covered in small rocks and it could be uncomfortable walking barefoot. 30 feet out in the water, different stories though. No rocks, just sand. Honestly, it was frustrating tiring but rewarding after a few attempts we slowly got it
surfing in the morning is definitely my favorite way to start the day now. $50, $20 tip, and three hours well spent. Hey. Oh. Look at all these food. Hola, como se llama? Hola, uh, Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> Eileen. We got Eileen over here. She's making all the good food here. <laughs> what are you making? Oh, that chicken. What's sí. the name of it? Chicken barbecue. Chicken barbecue. Sí. What's the name of the uh, this right here? This is my beef. favorite. Beef. Just beef? <coughs> beef stew? Mm. Just uh, beef stew? Ah, beef and gravy. Mm. So good. These two are my favorite. So what what is this here? Uh, beef, this soup. This is soup. Si. Uh, potato beef soup. soup. Uh huh. Chicken soup. That's chicken soup. Uh huh. Yeah, very good. Ocha. Ocha. Uh, it's pork. And pork. Gravy. Yeah, see. It's shrimp. Uh, shrimp. Yeah, very good. Plantain. What is that over there? Uh, uh, pork. pork ribs. Pork ribs. See. Mashed potato. Very good. What's her name? Uh, Alexa. 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 Hola, estamos Alexa. aquí en Soda Garabito, uh. la mejor soda de Jaco. As you can tell, the people here are super Hola, friendly. Hi, salud para YouTube. Hola. Oh my Hola. God, that looks amazing. Can I film there? Oh, wow. Canelones. Canelones de carne. Canelones. Sí. Canelones de carne. Canelones. Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, this is muy, muy recommendable. This is muy delicioso. This is very popular, very famous. Famous. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> oh, you're making this is a plantain? Plantain? See? Si. Si. You're making plantain from scratch. Wow. Chef. I am from Nicaragua. Oh, you're the chef. You're the chef. What's your name? I What's am your... from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. What's My your name? My name is uh, Elba. Elba. Yeah. You're the chef here. Marta. Ella es Marta. Ma Marta. 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 Martita. Oh. Ella es Martita. Hi. Very good. All right. Muchas gracias, chef. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Yeah, some of that uh, sopas on there. Yeah, see. Yeah. And uh, is that beef? beef? Carne? See? See, see, see. Carne. Oh, look at that beef. It looks so good. Alright, finally, I'm in Haco, Costa Rica. Finally, I can get this soda here. This is common everyday comida. It's, it's just so incredibly good. Um, the place I, I try to go to is my all-time favorite place here in Costa Rica, but it's closed. It's right next to the beach, right next to uh, Selena Jaco. But uh, this is um, Soda Garabito, which is not bad at all. I mean, the food looks incredible. Oh my god, I cannot wait to try this beef here. It's like Vietnamese beef stew. Wow, it has really strong that that strong ragu, that stew flavor. Oh my god! But it's everything is cooked through to perfection. Mm. Not too sure if it's a curry chicken, but it tastes very similar to Vietnamese curry chicken. So good. So for our meal, it's 19,000 colones. So how much is that? I don't know, you do the math. Let's try this uh, soup here. Extremely beefy. I mean, the beef is like, it falls apart tender. Just like that. Let's try this piece. So soft, so tender. It's been cooked for probably hours, half a day. Every time I come to a Costa Rican restaurant, 
is this thing that just I fall in love with every time. It's escabeche. It's a pickled vegetable, a little bit spicy. So it's pickled vegetable. As you see here, um, you can see a ton of like carrot, onion. There we go. Carrot, onion, habanero, and vinegar. But it's just so incredibly good. Just look at that. I mean, it just goes so well with, you know, with all the food here in Costa Rica. It's just a perfect complement. There we go. I'm gonna grab some of this escabeche. It looks really spicy, but, um, yeah, we, we've got to make do, right? Grab some of that beef. Here we go. Perfection in every bite. Wow. I'm gonna finish this, and uh, we're gonna head to Mano Antonio for... Uh, uh, we're gonna stay at a uh, cabin in the woods, so it's gonna be um, that's gonna be for the next video. And that's it for this video in Hako, okay? Make sure to come to Hako every time you come to Costa Rica. It's a party town. You can surf here and get amazing food here. There are amazing people here. And there are lots and lots of things you gotta watch out for. So, uh, yeah, be careful. A lot of drugs, a lot of girls, a lot of drinking. So, uh, be careful. But, uh, there you go. Now you know what Hako is like. Stay young, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye.